Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 294 of our Great Tour of the Film series. In this episode, we visited Rita Samson Memorial Garden in Imus in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Cavite. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of an award-winning film and TV writer and director who was credited for more than 10 films as director for about 16 years since 2006. Located at the northern side of the park, we found the final resting place of an award-winning film director, Eduardo Roy Jr. Eduardo Wasiwas Roy Jr. was born on the 6th August 1980. He was an award-winning film and TV writer and director. Direct Roy was credited for 11 films and TV programs as director and 13 as writer from 2006 to 2020. His first independent film project was in 2006 movie, Ang Pinakamahabang One Night Stand, as a segment writer and director starring Venji Pellena, Jem Cabreros, and Christopher Canizares. His other film and TV projects include 2011 Bahay Bata starring Diana Zubiri with Sue Prado and Susan Africa, where he won the best first time director award in the 2012 Las Palmas International Film Festival. This project also won the Dragons and Tigers Award at the 2011 Vancouver International Film Festival and Jury Prize winner at the 2012 Juville Asian Film Festival and nominated for Best Film in 2011 Cinemalaya and 2012 YCC Award. Twenty thirteen Quick Change starring Mimi Juareza with Mix Quaderno and Junjun Gendana, where he was nominated for Best Screenplay in 2014 YCC Awards. This project was also nominated for Best Film in the YCC Awards, Five Flavor Asian Film Festival, and for a Grand Prize at Fribourg International Film Festival and Cherry Cherry Film Festival of 2014 and won the Special Jury Award in the 2013 Cinemalaya Independent Film Festival and the Critics Jury Award in 2014 Besol Asian Film Festival. Ita, saan tayo pupunta? May pagagandahin tayo. Pag maganda ako, may karir ako, alam mo na yan. Pag bata ako, Forever beauty queen ako. Sweet, we look together. Ina, 
TV drama series Wagas as director for its six episodes from 2014 to 2015 starring Martin Del Rosario, Rod June Cruz, and Gigi Loxin as aired over GMA7. 2016, Pamilya Ordinary starring Ronaldo Martin, Hasmin Kilip, and John Kenji Montoro, where he was nominated for Indie Movie Screenwriter of the Year and won the Indie Movie Director of the Year at 2017 Star Awards for Movies and winner of Best Director in 2016 Hanoi International Film Festival and nominated for Best Direction and Best Screenplay Awards in Gawad Urian and Film Academy of the Philippines Award of 2017 and won Best Director in 2016 Cinemalay Independent Film Festival. This film was also nominated at 2016 Venice Film Festival for Queen Lion Award, 2016 Tokyo Film X for Grand Prize, 2016 Stockholm Film Festival for Best Film and Winner for Student Jury Prize at 2016 Tokyo Film X and Best Film in 2016 Cinemalay Independent Film Festival. Hello, Aris. Inang inya. Oh, ano yari? Pati yung dito. Inang kama kaot. Nakatanganay. Ina ko po sa kanila. 2019 Fuck Boy starring Royce Cabrera, Cocoy De Santos, and Ricky Dabao where he was nominated for Best Screenplay Award in 2020 YCC Award, nominated for Best Film, and won the Best Director in the 2019 Cinemalay Independent Film Festival. In Jesus' name! In 2019, Lola Igna starring Angie Ferro with Eve Flores and Meryl Soriano where he was nominated for Indie Movie Screenwriter of the Year and Indie Movie Director of the Year in the 2021 Star Awards for Movies and nominated for Best Director and won Best Screenplay and Best Film in the 2019 Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino Award. Paparangalan kayo kasi kayo ang pinakamatandang lola sa buong Pilipinas. Pucheta! Sa ating background ang mga turista na nagmula pa sa iba't ibang lugar para lang masilayan ang pinakamatandang lola sa Pilipinas na si Lola Igna. Dito na po sa mga bisita nyo. Tapos na po kayo, Lola. Eh ano kung taga Maynila sila, pakialam ko. Bakit nila ako dadalawin? May sakit ba ako? Layas! Apo niyo po ako. Ulol! Anak po ako ni Ana. Ela... Bakit nandito po si Mama? Wala kaming kabalibalita sa kanya. Maruti ka pa. Patay na. Kayang paglalakbay. Oh, wh why is it very personal? Uh, Because uh, it is part of your story. Yes, tungkol po ito sa lola ko na hindi ko nakilala. So, very personal yung pelikula. Uh, uh, mother's side is from uh, Mountain Province. Lumuha siya ng Manila. At never ko nakilala yung lola ko. Then, nag-shoot kami sa gitna ng month ng September. So, everyday umuulan. Oh. So, may mga, sa mga actor naman, 
wala naman kaming naging problema kasi very professional po silang lahat. TV drama series, maalaala mo kaya as director for its three episodes in 2019 titled Lotion, Contest, and Pulang Laso as aired over then ABS-CBN Channel 2. His last project was in 2020 TV drama series O Mando as director for its six episodes starring Coco De Santos, Alex Diaz, and Barbie Imperial as aired over then ABS-CBN Channel 2. Uh, ako galing ako sa ABS-CBN. I'm a soap opera writer for like five years. Um, sobrang dream ko na noon pa na, na maging director. And yung time na yun, parang pausbong pa lang ang indie films. Kay direct Jeffrey Jetorian and direct Dante. Galing ako sa, sinasawag na natin parang structured na, 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 na formula yung mga, yung storytelling. Sa sinihan, lalo na sa mga pelikula ni na direct Dante and direct Jeffrey. And then parang naging breather yan eh. Parang after na work, tapos manonood ka ng ibang klaseng storytelling. Gusto kong mag-try. And then, trinay ko uh, Cinemalaya. To, uh, second Cinemalaya. And parang natatawa nga ako kasi pinag-usapin namin ni Sir Bing. Nung tayo nung interview niya, ang totoy-totoy ko pa daw. Anong year yun? 2006. Ay, 2007. So, okay. parang yun yung pinaka-goal ko na makapasok sa Cinemalaya that time. And every year, nagtatry ako for the fifth Cinemalaya. And then napag-usapan namin yung, Sir Bing, nabasa niyo po ba yung entry ko? Entry ko yung Bliss, yung different stories na nakatira sa Bliss. Eh parang feeling ko may chance ako kasi nga, ko, may isa lang akong gusto. Sabi ko, dapat doon ka na lang nag-focus, doon sa isa. And then, ah, ganun. Do, so, hindi na naman po ako nakapasok. <laughs> so, ito yung time na inabsorb ko lang lahat ng mga, ng mga turo. Hindi ba? Hindi nyo naiintindihan yung workshop. Kasi asing ibang-iba yung, yung terminologies, Bing. Ma-absorb mo eh. Ma-absorb mo. Okay. And then, and then yun, after ng workshop na yun, 2010, nakapasok ako sa Cinema Life. <laughs> Your entry was? Bahay Bata. Okay. Yeah. And pinaka-well-traveled film ko so far. Um, ayun, masaya. In late 2021, Direct Roy was diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma. He died on the 21st February 2022 because of massive pulmonary embolism while on confinement at St. Luke's Medical Center in Quezon City. He was just 41. In the next episodes, we will post the video of the continuation of our visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in the Bayan in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more Grade 2 videos including Manila Memorial Park and Loyola Memorial Park in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next Grade 2 of the Famous Episodes.